I truly believe that uh, 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 the Cockettes and Stephen Arnold were destined to meet each other. Um, uh, it was like royalty visiting royalty. Uh, Stephen, of course, had started the Nocturnal Dream Show, the midnight movie series at the Palace Theater. And this was a uh, trysting place, a place where we could all meet before we were actually a, a group, a troupe. We could all meet there and get away with murder. We could smoke dope in the balcony. We could have sex anywhere we wanted. It was totally freestyle. And Stephen was the artistic force between uh, the Nocturnal Dream Show. I saw the Cockettes on a visit to San Francisco once. Did you? Yeah. Uh, they used to come to the Midnight Movies at the Palace Theater, uh, which I ran. And uh, oh, I didn't know you ran that. I ran that for years, and uh, I, they were always so dressed up. I said, "Why don't you guys do something on stage?" And they prepared something, and they started doing something every week, and it grew into that. If it hadn't have been for Stephen, I don't think there would have been the Cockettes. Stephen was the first person that really gave us an opportunity. Stephen was the one that Hibiscus talked to whenever there was a problem, and there was always a lot of problems. And Stephen just made it very possible for us to do it, and he let us do our own thing. Stephen was in a whole other, had a whole other coterie of followers around him. He had fabulous artists who a lot of us ended up working with, like Nikki Nichols, and Pandora, and uh, Ruth Weiss. And I credit Stephen with giving the Cockettes our first break. They were, the early shows were really wonderful and, and nuts. Yeah. It was an excuse to get dressed up and go out and be crazy, also. But we filled that theater um, every Friday and Saturday night while they were there for a, a full year. Mm -hmm.